is hard to say how exactly the Vorkat movie performed, but at this point, it is more than obvious that it wasn't exactly successful, which is why the original idea of having multiple movies was scrapped a few years back. Now, for the past few years, we've been getting a few hints that something is happening, but now we have sort of a leak of some behind the scenes happening in the movie making scene, and there are talks that a new Warcraft movie may just be in the making. Supposedly, it will be a sequel involving Troll, but it won't strictly be related to the first movie, and it might involve some of the original characters, but most of them won't be present, while the entire movie will be focusing on something completely different. So, what is this leak? How legitimate is it? And what could the second what can we be about? Is it going to be about Altus, the second war, or something entirely different? You all know it, the most popular RPG on your phone, Raid Shadow Legends, that you can play on both mobile and PC with my QR code on the screen or the links below. The Elven Fashion right now is one of the coolest ones. They formed a civilization thousands of years ago, surviving the collapse of the Lizardman Empire. They defeated the Orcish Horde and ultimately built themselves stronger than ever. Right now, their Kingdom of Aravia is one of the most powerful countries in the realm of Teleria and they're one of the coolest characters you can play as. Now, a lot is happening today this month, with 5 new champions, there is a series of summer splash events where you can get skins for the dwarf Tranda, however, there is more, as there is a special Deliana event for new and existing players, and if you play between now and July 28th, you can get Deliana for free. Additionally, until July 28th, all new players will get 50 XP brews to max out Deliana to level 50 with code MYDELIANA. So it's never been a better time to start, all new players, use my link or the QR code on the screen and you will get a free starter pack worth $30, free champion Aina, and also this cool in-game loot. See you in-game. At this point, it is pretty obvious that the Warcraft movie overall just failed. I wouldn't say completely flopped, as in it was a disaster, as we don't really have the exact statistics, but it probably just barely broke even, and if that, it definitely wasn't really profitable. If it really was super profitable, we would be getting a sequel by this point that is 100% certain. Actually, there was a lot of talk of Warcraft 2 coming out, it was supposed to come out, and ultimately, with the analysis of the performance and all the recent world events, all of that was scrapped. In fact, a lot of the gear used in the movie, the prompts, was just auctioned off, which to most people completely signal that the idea of ever making a Warcraft movie again is just over. I mean, they just sold off all the prompts for the sequels, so how could anything really happen? Well, a few months ago, we got this leak, and honestly, I can't say it is that big of a leak, as there isn't that much substance to it, but there is an alleged insider view into the negotiations between Blizzard and a movie studio in regards to the continuation of the Warcraft movie series. Now, here's the thing, one of the reasons why the Warcraft movie failed is because it was originally meant to be a series. Literally, the entire movie is hardly that good as a standalone film, it is pretty much just made to be at least a trilogy, and really half of the movie was just setting things up for things to come in the sequels, when that sequel didn't happen, it just kinda left the movie hanging out there completely alone. The thing is though, I really don't think they just picked the best storyline for the movie, and you really need to examine this film from the perspective of a random person not at all familiar with the Warcraft franchise, as really, if they wanna make big money, and they do, that is going to be the majority of the audience, people that are not familiar with Warcraft as an entire franchise, it is hardly worth it to invest millions and millions of dollars and get big time actors to just cater to people playing World of Warcraft. Now, those that played no characters like Orc of Doomhammer, Troll, the Orcish Horde, and the humans, but seriously, to a random person, this just seems completely outlandish. Literally, these names mean just nothing to them. They are just random fantasy names. They are introduced to these orcs, and really, orcs are definitely a bit worn out as a race in pretty much all the fantasy stories. Then they go to this massive portal, they attack a pretty generic looking human kingdom, and then they battle each other. There's magic, demons, griffins, and a bunch of other things, but really, to a random person, this just seems as generic as it gets. It really is not interesting at all. I mean, you're introducing all these races, all these characters, Medivh, Troll, Blackhand, Durotan, all in the course of one movie. And these names mean literally nothing to a random person, so they really don't get attached to it whatsoever. Now, I think they might have realized this, and here is the actual data, what the leak actually says. So, despite the lackluster domestic box office, it did well enough in international markets, I'm guessing mainly China, to keep the conversation of a new movie happening, and apparently the studio is going forward with the idea of a soft, soft 
being the keyword here, soft reboot of the movie series. Apparently, it will focus on a new set of characters and while it won't ignore the first movie, it won't really be a sequel in the traditional sense, meaning it will only be loosely related to the storyline of the Orcish Horde invasion, the first war and everything you really saw in Warcraft 1. This here is the biggest hint, apparently some of the original characters will be present, in particular one character that you may have heard of, Goel, also known as Troll, will be in this movie of adult age, even though he was literally just a tiny baby the size of an orcish hand back in the Warcraft movie. Now another hint to point us towards where this might be going is that the film will mention some of the scenes of the first movie, but a lot of the first movie characters won't actually appear in this sequel. Now if this is true, I gotta say this is really big info as it can really point us in a pretty good direction of what might actually be happening. What is 100% certain is there won't be the second war, it just wouldn't physically be possible. Troll really was an adult as he was a gladiator and that was years after the orcish wars when the internment camps were built and they were running. I honestly think this is a good thing, I'm like 100% certain if they made a movie focusing on the second war, they would probably just flop a lot harder than the first movie. With the first, there were a lot of curious people that wanted to see what was going on, but Due to the criticism the movie received, if people learn that the new movie will be the same as the first one, just orcs versus humans, I just think a lot less people would be interested to see what is actually going on because they probably think nothing was really changed. However, this approach that they're apparently doing is, in my opinion, genius. If they focus on a different storyline, kind of a reboot of the Warcraft movie, but with a different theme while keeping the Warcraft to it with lessons learned from the first movie, that would really be the best choice to go forward. So let us examine what could this movie be about from the actual hints that we have received. So seeing that it mentions Troll being an adult, it can really be anything from him being the gladiator up to the present day, although I would say maybe up to around the time of Cataclysm when he stepped down from being Warchief, as no one would care about Troll stepping down and his shamanistic path and Shadowlands and all this stuff. when. The last time they saw him in the movie he was a baby, he had like 10 seconds of screen time. Additionally, I think the World of Warcraft storyline as an MMORPG would be really hard to repurpose into that of a film as the entire lore is based on the MMORPG, it was made for the purpose of the game and it kinda adds from one expansion to the other so unless you played it you would probably have no idea what is happening. So the best case scenario in my opinion is that they go for the tried and true as after all they are investing millions of dollars into this movie. So so this would most likely be something around Warcraft 3 as really, let's be real, Warcraft 3 established Warcraft as a franchise and it is ultimately the actual foundation of the massively popular MMORPG. So honestly, I see two most likely scenarios with this movie, either it could be related to internment camps and troll being a gladiator or it could be related to the actual events of the game that was in Warcraft 3. The first idea would actually not be all that bad as it would technically be what they described in this leak, loosely related to the first movie but still related. So the orcish horde you saw in raiding would now be in this lethargic state in intermittent camps and the orcs would be used as gladiators. It could have really this gritty team of the humans now not being the good guys and the orcs freeing themselves, creating the new horde, creating the new life and just escaping from imprisonment. I mean, I could see it happening, although I feel like it still wouldn't really be all that relatable to the average person, the average viewer, because these camps only mean something when you're familiar with the orcish horde so you kind of know how they ended up in here. So I personally think the second scenario might actually be the best case scenario, the best option, the events of Warcraft 3 and having like two storylines going on at the same time. We would have the scourge of undeath ravaging the human kingdom of Lordaeron and the orcish horde gathering themselves, escaping the continent just in time before this scourge reaches them. It could show their voyage and them meeting the trolls, the tauren on the other side of the continent and on the other side of the movie, they could show Artis the noble yet rash prince, the fall of Lordaeron and ultimately the death of Terranus Menatil, the betrayal and all this stuff that happened in Warcraft 3. Now, I actually think this would be an excellent setting, like the perfect one for the movie and this is really what they should have done instead of the first movie, instead of the orcish horde and what they actually did. I know the zombie thing is also a bit overblown, but I could seriously see this having like a Game of Thrones vibe to it, the Lich King, this evil power from North Trend and Kel Tuzad secretly spreading the plague on the citizens that just have no idea what is happening. 
as I said, it could be a movie that would show world perspective from both sides, the whole searching for a new life, the alliance falling apart, with most of the focus being on the undead, I think this could have less of a crazy fantasy that we've had in the first movie, and more like a down to earth storyline of a human kingdom falling apart from the inside. Now, my personal opinion is that this would be more relatable as honestly anytime I've asked someone that had at least a bit of experience with Warcraft 3 or just Warcraft in general, they would know who Artis was, but they would probably not know who Orgrim Doomhammer was, Black Hand, the Orcish Invasion and just all these things. Now people have also been speculating that this could involve the War of the Ancients, Deathwing Legion, although if this leak is right, I don't see how it would make sense as it couldn't really involve Troll, but just like the Orcish Horde, I don't think that would be the best idea. I mean, just think, a massive old god corrupted dragon that has whispers from beyond the ground, the gigantic demons that want to reshape the universe, is really not a storyline you should pick for people that don't even know what Warcraft lore is. It would just seem just way too outlandish and way too crazy to all of them. Now, when you think about, for example, Lord of the Rings, they had this crazy backstory in the background. It was really well developed, but the main storyline was just a lot more relatable to the average person. There wasn't really all that crazy stuff just being thrown in your face. However, realistically, the sources for this are very weak. It isn't exactly like a forum post, 4chan post, like a trust me bro, but it also isn't exactly from any reputable person that we know that either works at Blizzard or the movie studios. So it could 100% be yes, but I could also see this leak being true and this happening. Blizzard, despite their shortcomings recently, is obviously still a massive company that could have the leverage to push something like this to happen. However, what I've seen a lot of the community saying and what I also agree with is that I don't think Warcraft lore is really that great for a movie format. In fact, it would probably be best if they did like a series, maybe 6 to 8 episodes of like 45 minutes and then we could just see how that performs. There is just so much like a crazy amount of lore in World of Warcraft that it is kind of impossible to just distill this into a 2 hour movie and to get people invested in the story as it feels like you're just kind of vomiting down information upon a new viewer instead of like slowly introducing them to the story line in a more subtle way so that they could actually appreciate the characters and what is going on. So my opinion is that this might actually be true but personally I'd love to see a series maybe called something like Warcraft, The Scourge of Lordaeron, The Fall of Lordaeron, focusing on artists from his early days up to him becoming the Lich King and I'm almost certain if that was made right it would perform a lot better than the original Warcraft movie. Thank you for watching, check out the Lord Paladins be explained by clicking on the screen and check out the Academy for videos of real world history. See you next time.